Sam Hendrick here again from Bentley Systems to continue our conversation about the VBA import points. Amazing piece of code that my good friend Dave wrote. This is the sixth video in the series. And on this one, what we're gonna talk about is how to use the VBA to import from a CSV file in place text nodes. Now, this is probably to me one of the least common uses of this tool, but I'm covering everything. So behind me is the web page where you can download the VBA. Below, I'll have a link. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, in this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the import points VBA, and we're going to be importing from a CSV file and placing some of the data as text nodes. So first of all, let's look at our data source. I'm gonna drag my Excel spreadsheet over. Now I have already saved this off as a CSV file, but we're looking at the Excel spreadsheet version of it. Now we're not gonna bring in all of this information. We could if we wanted to, but we're just gonna bring in three pieces of information. So I just wanted you to see what the source data looks like. So let's move this out of the way. We're gonna go to our utilities tab up here. We're gonna go to the VBA manager. Now I have placed the VBA in the correct folder that my position is looking for, so I can see it listed here. I open it up. I can close the VBA projects dialog. On this dialog here, the first thing we want to do is select the source file. So I'm going to go to select source file. And I'll go to my folder. This is the file we plan to bring in right here. Now you can see all of the header information shows up here. Well, it's always a good idea to label the headers in your spreadsheet or CSV file because now you know what's in each one of those columns. The output to method, we want to change that from cell. We want to make it text node. We still have our longitude, latitude, and elevation, but we have all these additional lines here. We have actually up to 16 lines, and that will make a difference in how we drag and drop over the data. So we are with longitude latitude that's already set correctly but if it wasn't if we were dealing with northing and easting or x and y we could change that by going to the settings slash about and there's a checkbox for coordinates are in latitude and longitude now that's our situation so we want to leave that check but above it is input file has header row ours does have a header row labeling basically what the content is of each column this is a good thing to do that's why we recommend it so i'm going to click done now I'm going to go ahead and bring the information over. I'm going to map the longitude latitude automatically because the names there line up. So I come down here to the bottom, it says, or click here to automatically map fields. Now it'll map the longitude and latitude easily, but the elevation, it took a guess at it. Health assessment is wrong. So I'm just gonna double click to remove that. Now the 16 lines of information, I would have to scroll down to see all of them. When you import this in, you can import all 16 lines, but where is the origin, the point by which it's going to place it? Well, if there's 16 lines of information, it's going to put the origin in the middle, which is going to be line eight, the bottom of line eight. I'm not planning on bringing in 16 lines of information. I'm just planning on bringing in three lines of information. So I want to bring in longitude. I'm going to put that at eight. Then I'm going to do latitude. And I'm going to put in post mile. And that's all I'm going to put in. Now, when I go ahead and click placement, you'll see on the right the text placed. There we go. It's placed in. And you can see as I zoom in the three lines of information. Now, this is a text node. If I looked at the origin of this text node, that would be the correct longitude latitude position. So I'm going to go to a tool like Place Smart Line. I'm going to go to my origin snap. I did shift tentative. There's origin snap. And if I move my cursor over, you can see it finds the origin, which is at the bottom of that last piece of text, which was line number eight. That's the origin. Now, this was just importing text. It wasn't planning on bringing in a cell or a point or anything like that. We do have other output to methods that let you do that. But this one was just bringing in a text node. So hopefully you found that helpful. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.